We're running a little bit over 2.4 kilohertz coming from this function generator. The duty cycle coming from the function generator is here. Very short on duty cycle. And that's being fed into the input. We're not using the 555 timer. We're running the Ainsley circuit off of the function generator at this very short duty cycle and I'm monitoring channel B this is the input current across the current viewing resistor here which is covered up by the scope probes and this is the response of the MOSFET here the load is so the load is off on off now over here I've got a Fluke 199 scope meter hooked up the same way. Channel B is on the top. This is across the current viewing resistor. Channel A is on the bottom. And I just arbitrarily set my function generator at something that was basically as, as small a duty cycle as I could get reliably. And uh, look what the Fluke reports as the duty cycle. 96.3 percent on. That's this trace here. And uh, yeah, 96.3 percent high. But that of course means the load is off during that time. Okay. And this 96.3 percent, that's amazing because I didn't try very hard to set it. Now the channel B isn't reporting either a duty cycle or a frequency because the amplitude of the pulse is so small. And I've got that turned up all the way with the Tanix probe there at that frequency. Okay. And I assure you that the duty cycle and frequency are uh, <coughs> I don't know if that's just what this, the fluke decides to report or whether it actually is that small a duty cycle or 